Hello, 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 and welcome to another conversation. This is the conversation with me, Dr. Stevie. (laughs) The conversation with Stevie is the place where we uncover the why behind what people do, and I'm super excited because this is our exclusive It's Factor Affair edition. Yay! And we are going to start the day off just by telling you who I am, what I do, then we'll bring on our special guest. So I am Dr. Stevie. I help Christian women get seen and get paid online. And we have a special guest today. Her name is Anissa. Hello, Dr. Anissa. How are you? Hey, Stevie. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Please do go ahead and introduce yourself. Well, I am Dr. Anissa Short, as already stated. I'm a home-based entrepreneur, inter, um, international best-selling author. I am also an international speaker, and my passion is working with faith-filled home-based business owners. I work with them to get unstuck, to help them to realize that there is promise and possibility available through their home-based business. So. I've been a home-based business entrepreneur since 1999. I have, um, and much of what I do, I've done. You know how it is. We say skills are transferable. Serving as a trainer and a coach is what I did in the secular world in my my jobs and my employment with federal government. So I was able to just transfer those skills into another industry. And so I'm super delighted to be here. Thank you again for this opportunity, Stevie. Yes, you're welcome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The longevity of that is amazing. Yay. So um, definitely, definitely, I want to talk to you about this whole thing of home-based business since you've had such an amazing career in it. And we know, you know, during the time of COVID, people had to switch to home-based businesses. (laughs) Even if they had brick and mortar, we all had to go into the home. Uh, What was the main thing that you did to really catapult your business during that time and to help more people to grow with their own home-based businesses who may not have ever had one before? I got started in my home-based business haphazardly. Actually, I was um, – but here's the thing. Well, you know, I say it was haphazardly, but it really wasn't, Stevie. I have always, even when working a traditional job, had um, projects that I would work on that were income-based, you know, ways to make extra money. You know, for a while I did a little bit of this, and then I get bored with that and I do something else. So I was always on a journey, an entrepreneurial journey in some capacities. Um, But when I was introduced to um, direct sales, I embraced that, not because I was just gung-ho about being a part of that industry, but more so because the products that I used, I wanted to get a discount. You know, so I kind of backdoored my way into this thing. Um, What I found, however, is that after I got beyond the idea of simply having this vehicle as a benefit to me exclusively, I began to, I guess God opened my eyes to see that just like you have benefited from this home-based business um, from a from a a price point standpoint, because I get my products at a discount, but also from a taxable and financial, from a financial standpoint, whereas it provided extra income for emergencies and it provided me with taxable savings. When I saw it from that perspective, Stevie, God said other people need to know. Many people are in need financially, and they're looking and praying for an option, and you have an option to introduce. So then that became kind of like the mission is just to offer the information and allow people to choose for themselves. My success, such as it is, has come from two major places, one of which is to never give up, and the other is to maintain consistency. I've been consistent at a certain level in my business, and that has brought about strength in my business. And then I never quit. Even when things don't always shine as bright as I want them to, 
I've never said I'm just going to stop. I just shifted and pivoted. What we found during the pandemic, um, people found themselves in a sticky, uh, really in a tight place. They found themselves, of course, um, in a position where they needed to pivot. If their traditional job, the jobs they were on, didn't allow them to work remotely, you know, many people got laid off and displaced, and so they had to find something else to do. And it, it was in that sense of urgency that many of those people began to maximize the gifts they already had and created a, a platform for which to generate income and stability financially. And so that's what home-based entrepreneurship is really all about. It's about not that you have to quit a traditional job if you love what you do. It's about knowing that there is opportunity within the walls of your home to strengthen your, your household quality of life, whether that be from a financial standpoint. I just believe it, it creates a, a sense of self-sufficiency in your children. Um, the Bible even teaches, um, and my catchphrase in much, many of my events is, what do you have in your home? Because we have opportunity to work within the walls of our home if we choose to that can significantly change the trajectory of our lives if we are open to the possibility. Absolutely, absolutely. And so being open to the possibilities, what has been your biggest success story in your business? That I hadn't quit, that I have not quit. I've I've been in I've been a part of um I've been a part of this industry since 1999, but it has evolved because I did not quit. I was able to um to the the longevity is tied to my sticking it out. Let me just say that. But what has happened also in the process, Stevie, is the person I have become. I've been able to hone on some skills, strengthen some skills learn new skills that then I could transfer into other industries. So there have been opportunities where because people knew me in one capacity, they saw me in a different light and then doors of opportunity opened for me to do other things. So things such as my becoming an author as a result of some of the speaking and the training that I would do and coaching that I would do with women in general, that led to writing a book to share the same information. And then that book led to another book And then that book led to speaking engagements when ultimately my um, opportunity to even speak internationally stemmed from the connection of being an author and speaker, which, which originated from me being connected to my direct sales business. So it opened doors to other opportunities that I didn't even think about. And for that, I'm grateful. So what does Anissa 2.0 look like? Like what is the next level for you? Wow, that's a good question. Um, Anissa Anissa 2.0 would be one who has a greater, a larger platform. What I'm doing would just expand, greater in more territories, um, geographically, which will equate to me being able to make an impact to encourage, to educate, or inspire other people, more people. Let me say that. I don't know that I want to I see myself doing anything any different than what I'm doing now other than becoming better and, and being able to reach more people to make a greater impact. That's what Anissa, Anissa 2.0 is making a greater impact. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And so speaking of making an impact, let's get into uh, um, a question that I have for you. I have a few more questions before we get your contact information, but a question I have for you is kind of like a thank you as well. You um, are part of It Factor Affair. You are definitely someone who has invested your time, your treasure, your talent with us. It Factor Affair, if you all don't know, it's happening October 1st. 2023 at 1 p.m. in Greensboro, North Carolina, what said yes to you? What made you say yes? Well, you know, Stevie, I, you know, one of the things is it's, it's about timing for me. Um, I'm, I referenced just earlier that my, I, will, I have, I will be, and this is a 2.0, I will be making a greater impact. And so one of the things I endeavored to do in this, um, in this year was I, I, I pledged myself to do at the beginning of the year was to take on more speaking engagements 
and to not just wait for their opportunities to come about, but to even seek them out. And so I had not been consistent or I had not even planned from that capacity before. So I said, okay, I'm going to do 10 this year. That's, a, that's about average of one a month. You know, I gave myself two months off. <laughs> but I said, I'm going, to, I'm going to do 10 speaking engagements. I'm going to participate um, in 10 speaking engagements this year. Well, by the time July had come about, I think somewhere around July, I had already had six. I said, I only need four more to close out the year. And then I decided, what am I looking to gain? I just didn't want to take any engagement just because it was an engagement. I wanted it to be something, an opportunity that paralleled what my mission was and what my desire was. And so, Stevie, you know, I've been like a, a stalker or a fan of yours for a while. We've been acquainted for a minute. So when the it factor was first presented, when you extended the invitation, I said, that's perfect because I know what Stevie is about. I believe my mission and my message is consistent to her mission and message because that's important. And then, of course, it's in Greensboro. So that was consistent with me deciding, having made the decision that I was going to do things outside of my geographical area, which is Fayetteville, North Carolina. I had already said north, south, east, west within a two-hour drive is what my new territory will be. And so I will look for opportunities from in that perspective in the next year. And, of course, this is perfect. Greensboro is just that. It's within my two-hour window. I have family there. So it seemed like the perfect fit. So I'm thanking you for the invite and, of course, for accepting me and allowing me to share this platform with you. Awesome, awesome. We are excited. I think it's going to be indescribable. I am so excited. I can't even sleep. So (laughs) I have a few more sleep with night before we get there, but I'm going to be well-rested and, and energetic that day. But I'm excited about that. We do have a signature question we ask everyone who comes to have the conversation with us, and that question is, we cannot leave the conversation today without everyone knowing, and please fill in the blank. Hello, Stevie. Yes, we're here. Can you can, I can all of a sudden the sound went out. I'm sorry. I heard you say we have a signature question everyone needs to know and then that was it. Oh yes. We have a signature question that everyone needs to know and that is Dr. Stevie, we cannot leave the conversation today without everyone knowing. And what is that that you want everybody to know? Every person has gifts and talents, a gift, a talent, or a skill set that can be used to improve your quality of life, whether that be financially, spiritually, let's just say holistically. The Word of God tells us that your gift would make room for you. That means it would open doors for you. And while If you don't know what those gifts and talents and skills are, I challenge you to connect with people that can help identify them. But then once identified, I believe that if you you could find something to do using that gift, that talent, or that skill set to increase your financial place, your financial improve your financial footprint, build a legacy for your family, make a difference in your community improve your quality of life overall. I truly believe that. I believe that about everyone, male, man, woman, boy, and girl. We all have been gifted, and those gifts can make a difference, not only in our own lives, but in the lives of other people. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, you all, listen, you've got to get to Greensboro, North Carolina, trying to tell you. But just in case you want to connect with Anissa prior to that, Anissa, go ahead and give them your contact information, please. They can find my website is um, www.anissashort, that is A-N-I-S-S-A, short, as in not very tall, all one word, www.anissashort.com. They can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Dr. Anissa Short. Awesome and amazing, y'all. This has been the conversation with Stevie. We are super excited and elated 
to have Dr. Anissa with us. Listen, y'all go ahead and connect with her. She gave you her contact information. Most importantly, though, we want to see you in Greensboro, North Carolina. We want you to get connected in person to Dr. Anissa because the things that happen virtually cannot even touch what happens in a room with somebody heart to heart, right? So that's true. Go to go to itfactoruniversity dot com, itfactoruniversity dot com. Doctor Anissa, along with some incredible people, will be there in the space. They're going to be teaching you. They're going to be on a panel for you. They're going to be doing all kinds of things for you. So you want to be there. Itfactoruniversity dot com is how you get there to the It Factor affair. It's going to be amazing. So who am I? I am Dr. Stevie. And what do I like to say before I end everything I do? It is to make it a great day. Don't have a great day. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, you, you. And yes, you too have the power to do so. Go ahead and connect. Dr. Anissa gave you her information and we'll see you soon. Bye.